Thanks everyone for watching Cooking with Shotgun Red and I'm Sheila. I'm Jennifer. And today we have a recipe here we think you're gonna love. It is delicious. This is an old time recipe. This is like a depression era recipe. I know that some people make it over in England and the Scot I think in Scotland and stuff like this, but this has been passed down generation to generation. And it's I was a, raised on these things right here. Absolutely. And it's a great way to stretch a meal. So if you're on a budget and you, you know, you've got some potatoes, potatoes are really easy to stretch and make into other meals. And this is no exception because this is so easy to do. If you've got leftover potatoes, we can make something of it, can't we, Sheila? <laughs> if you haven't got leftovers, do it anyway. That's right. You can always boil up some potatoes and mash them up. But these are cold leftover mashed potatoes that we're going to start here with. This is two cups of mashed potatoes. And what we're going to do... Add all it, the ingredients. We're, <laughs> we're going to add all the ingredients. <laughs> You're on it, girl. <laughs> I am on it. It's our last recipe of the day. Woo. We've been filming all week, and we're just, we're, we're here. We're slap having happy. fun. We're a little slap happy, but that's okay. We're having fun. That's all that yes. matters. So, all right, so we've got our two cups of cold mashed potatoes. Right. And what we're going to do is sprinkle some self-rising flour in it, and this is three-quarter cup of self-rising flour. And that's going to help get this to rise when we make them into our pancake there you go. shapes. One down. Or our cake shapes. And then we've got some seasoning. Yes. Salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And that's a teaspoon of each. I'm going to go like this. Yeah, stir that up, would you? Yes. <laughs> it looked pretty like it was. Okay. I'm just getting this all in there. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. Just season that right up there. And this is such an easy recipe to make. And, you know, I think the kids would even like this, but you can make this, you can add different ingredients to it. So once this is completely mixed up, we have one egg that we've already beaten. And I'm just going to pour that in there. Thanks, Sheila. You are. <laughs> And here I've got a half a cup of milk. I'm only going to pour in a little bit at a time because it depends on the consistency that you're looking for. Well, so here, here and I'll, then... I only want a little bit. And I'm not going to use the whole thing. We're only going to do about a quarter cup of that. So just a little bit at a time. Okay. And let's see what we got here. Do you want to mix this up? Since you're right handed, you can stir that thing. Go ahead a little bit more. Okay. There you go. So you want this to be kind of like thick enough to make into a patty. So you don't want it too thin. I mean, some people do make it thinner. It's really entirely up to you, but we're going to make ours more like a patty and that kind of a consistency, kind of like really, really thick peanut butter. <laughs> so a little we'll bit, just a, just a smidge more. We'll make some sandwiches out of this. There you go. That's good. All right. And then once we get this completely mixed, we're going to take you back here to the skillet and we're going to show you what we do next. Yeah, we're going to take you back to the skillet so we can kill it. <laughs> <laughs> Sheila's new motto. <laughs> we're we're going to be back there and we're going to show you. <laughs> so we're just using regular vegetable oil and I'm just going to put in just enough to cover the bottom of this pan. You don't have, you don't have to make it very deep. And we may need to add a little bit more as we go if it absorbs into the potatoes. We're going to let that heat up. And as soon as it gets warm enough, we're going to make some patties. It's like that oil is hot and ready to go. It is ready. All right. So what we're going to do is take a scoop, however, so whatever size you want to do, and you're going to shape that into a patty. So I'm just going to, oh, I'm dropping it. Just shape it into the patty that you want and then you're going to drop it in. You can make these any size you want. I'm just going to make it, put it in the pan. And it won't take very long. And you just want it to get brown and then you're going to flip it over. like that. So that's about like three minutes on each side. Yeah, it doesn't take very long. That could, that could use a little bit more. I'll flip that back over one more time. 
So we're going to make this batch plain. And the next batch we're going to make is some cheesy tater cakes. We're going to add some cheese in it, make some cheesy ones. So we're going to set this just on a plate with some paper towel on it and let that drain off a little bit. See how this one's doing. Oh, that one looks nice. Mm -hmm. You see as it gets going, they'll probably get a little bit better consistency on your browning too. All right, I'm going to take this one out. That little guy, he's happy. Yeah, that's my favorite. <laughs> Sheila, Sheila's already <laughs> eyeing that one. So next, I'm going to take and I'm going to add a little bit of cheddar cheese right into my, my potato mixture. I'm going to mix it up with some cheese in it. And I'm going to make me a cheesy tater patty. All right. Be careful when you're putting those in there because that'll splatter on you. Mm -mm -mm. And you can see that one browned up a little quicker. So once that oil gets hot, it's going to brown up a lot quicker. So make sure your oil's hot. Come on. Do it. You can do it. You can, you do, can it. do it. And then in the final batch over here, while that's cooking, I'm going to add in some pre-cooked bacon. We're just going to pour that right into our potato mixture. I think this one's probably done. Yeah. Yep, that one's done. And this one over here, it's almost done. I can. You can just feel it, can't you? Yep. That one's ready to flip. That one's ready to flip. Let's make room for another bacon. So this made about 11 out of the two cups of mashed potatoes. Now you could increase your, depending on what you have left, you could make a lot more. Just depends on how many potatoes you want to use. Just make sure that you increase the flour and everything else that goes in it. Now we're back with our potato cakes. Yummy! Yeah. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It does. Look so we've got the kind with cheese in it, we've got the kind with bacon in it, and cheese, and we've got just plain old potato cakes. So I'm going to try some. I'm going to have some ranch dressing with mine. I'm going to do with butter. Okay, you do that. I'll take this one right here. I'm going with the, you're going to go with that one? I'm going to go with this. This yeah. one looks pretty good right here. I don't know what I've got, but mm. I'm going to it's a surprise. I know. Check this out. All right, I'm ready. I'm going to try this out here. here go. I got a cheesy one here. Mmm, mmm. Yum. I think that, I got the one with bacon in it. Did you? Oh, yeah, you did. So. Mm -hmm. I got the one with just cheese. This is delicious. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Let me check that out. I'll try it with a ranch. It's really good. Ranch dressing. Mm. You can use ketchup. You can use sour cream. Whatever you like to top your potatoes with, you could have with this. It's delicious. Isn't that good? Mm. I know. I told you. <laughs> Butter. Anything. So mm. you are definitely going to want to check out this recipe. As Steve would say, is this the best potato cakes recipe? <laughs> She just wants to eat. <laughs> if it ain't, it ought to be. Yeah. Thanks for joining us, liking and sharing. And subscribing. And don't forget to follow us on all of our social media links are right below this video. And check out our free membership. Yes, because you're going to find out about all the good stuff we have coming. And you're going to find out about it first. And it's free, absolutely free. The link is below. And join us there and shotgunred.com. You can submit a recipe. We've got our cookbooks. We've got recipes and all kinds of good things mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and she's just going to keep eating so mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll see you next time right here on cooking with shotgun red bye, bye. all right Let's i'm gonna have some one. mom you gotta try this really it's awesome. so oh, good yeah, gosh. okay mm. i'm ready well that's she she and jen jen them two girls having too much fun we hope you enjoy this recipe and we really hope you subscribe to our channel that's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe. And then you're subscribed. Next to it will be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.